You know, one friend of mine uh, asked me before about <laughs> what I thought about Hamza, and I was like, it's kind of surprised by this. And I can't, and I gave him a surprising answer when I didn't, and I said I didn't really like Hamza and his trajectory, and I don't like where he's going in the moment. I don't really like what Hamza's doing. Of course, like a man has business, he has a course to sell, he has a private community to sell, like you said before. That's where the money's at. Um, if you're purely looking for money, yeah, I agree. That's where the money's at. You you make your status, you make your fame. And then you could sell a private community. Luke Belmont does this. Andrew Tate does this. Hashley University, the real world. War Room. Luke Belmont, obviously, Capital Club. A dollar a day. You always hear about it. 365 a year. You you know, and now Hamza with Adonis School, Adonis Gang, Adonis Academy, Adonis, whatever it is. That's the case. It's always Adonis something. Okay, guys. And I think that Hamza is extremely, extremely good source of information. But not this Hamza. The old Hamza from a year ago. When he was making videos like, this is how you join the top 1% of men in 8 habits keeping men weak. But the old, the old videos from like a year ago when he felt more genuine. <clears throat> and he wasn't trying to sell you anything anything at all. He was just trying to convey his message. And um, that's the reality of the situation. Like When you watch one of the videos, you're watching, obviously, because you want to see them. It's Hamza, it's his personality. Which can entertain his, his entertain his personality and to look by my look by my and his personality and hey what can these guys of high status give to me right that's the that's the mindset you should have when you go into you know content consumption and yeah the new the new Hamza stuff um to relate to this point the new Hamza stuff is kind of like concerning to a degree it's just like I don't score I don't gang so much value so much value so much value fair enough and Adonis gang is free now he's be five dollars a month. I believe when I was free. Um, I, I, I don't I don't know I don't know I just want to be sold. People hate being sold, right? All of the people that hate being sold. Um, I think he's great, guys. He's he honestly is great, but like the trajectory so far is just what the fuck. And then I see his current YouTube videos. It feels inauthentic because he's trying to be like a, a version of himself that he wasn't trying to be before. Um, I did like his recent video was like, oh, how, how you actually like, you know, make 10k a month, I need 10k quick, and I was like, make YouTube videos just like me, which is pretty solid advice, I agree in that sense, oh, oh, oh. but I would disagree with his um, new aggressive marketing campaign, difficult to digest, very, very difficult to digest, but then again, like, yeah, like I said before, previously he's got a business. Andrew Tate's got a business. Luke Belmont's got a business. Luke Belmont earns, you know, a lot of money from his business, his course business. Andrew Tate, likewise, vice versa. They, they all they all earn money. That's the whole stick. That's why you make. That's why you truly make the millions, right? I don't think it's a particularly bad thing because a lot of individuals in Capital Club, like they meet a lot of other uh, like-minded individuals from the mastermind, because only individuals that pay that much money. Go there in the first place. Individuals that pay much that much money usually have money. Apologize. <laughs> I think that's all good thing and net positive. Um, I think nothing really wrong with that, in my opinion. It it, it just uh, it's just it's just like um, <laughs> it's tiring to hear. <laughs> it is tiring to hear. Um, if you want if you want to consume Hamza for value, obviously make YouTube videos. Follow that business. A, a business route i mean youtube is a business no matter what, what it, it's a very it's a much easier business comparative to like more hardline businesses like insurance company insurance fraud agency uh, even smma it's it's much more difficult in comparison no it, it's much less difficult in comparison if you compare youtube to any of these but i would definitely say like yeah follow what his advice follows they kind of like steal like creatively i say creatively um was in no kind of creatively copy, creatively uh, readjust. I think something like that. <laughs> yeah, creatively readjust what he does, and then put it on your own channel. You know, a lot of big channels. They, I remember I've seen this before. Like, if you just search up eight habits, you can search it up yourself. Eight habits keeping men weak. It's just gonna be like video and video and video and video. Talking about pretty much the same shit, like porn, video games, social media, talking to a random girl, wasting time, not being productive, being complacent. Um, not not really having like an, a sense of urgency, some basic shit like that, and yeah, it, it, it is the truth. It is keeping it is the habits keeping men weak, but people don't really pay for 
you know when you you pay when you watch by the way it's not technically free you're paying with your time nothing is nothing is free in this world nothing the only thing free in this world is technically your birth but yeah anything else apart from that is like yeah it's just you know you know you pay for hamza to say the, the habits you pay for imangaji to say the habits you pay for better ideas or any of these other individuals to say the habits not necessarily because um like there's some like magical i'm gonna i want to reiterate that actually not necessarily because there is a magical idea there's a magical philosophy that will literally instantaneously shift you out of out of the 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 slug the slumber the the, the pain fest or whatever the, the some primitive depression the bottom of the dunning kruger effect <laughs> type thing you know what i'm saying guys there's nothing like if you if you really want to summarize everything every single thing that the sound improvement guys say i would definitely say just work harder and work smarter the way you would work in a video game is you would work 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 okay what am i doing wrong you would then reiterate on what you worked on and then you would you know attack attack it again and work 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 work, work. video games hyper is it hyper sensationalized i don't know how to say this but hyper like they kind of like make things go quicker i don't know the specific term for it but like it kind of just hyper speeds up everything that a man would usually want to go through like all the progression or the status or the and, and it's worse if you get like egos involved as well because then you actually feel like you're getting girls damn damn it's not good it's a bad line i swear <laughs> um yeah if you uh, think video games they, they hyper they, they make things quick you could potentially say instant gratification you could potentially say instant gratification i'm not sure exactly what the term is it's gratification the instant gratification line I don't, I, that's not a word that's not a word they um they make things go the quicker quicker for for men in general they, they kind of manipulate your your desire deep rooted desire to to have status and have money and have power and have kids this is this is this is why i think anyone who plays with egos is just ridiculous it's ridiculous honestly because now you're just supplementing your real world and e-dates as well like um if you're doing e-dates for like youtube content fair enough like okay fair enough or you're doing it just for fun fair enough but like there's guys who legitimately try to get girls on e-dating it's just like what <laughs> you're not gonna find your love over discord bro it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen like that and um you have to remember the individual that you see across the screen is probably also socially as socially inept as you are you don't want to meet people on this platform they're neat losers ikikomoris it's not a good idea anyway to reiterate back to the point on hamza i think hamza is a great great self-improvement model to follow to copy, to creatively readjust, to to really learn from, to really learn from. I think his biggest downfall was like, yeah, I'm quitting. And like, kind of like, it's like when you take a sponsorship early in your YouTube career, you're kind of like selling out. That's only when I can sell out, right? When he said he was quitting, I need to come back very, very soon after and quit his, effectively run away from his Muay Thai training. He said he said something interesting that I kind of resonate with. At the time, I said, "Oh yeah, he's a loser. I don't, I don't respect him." I thought, "Oh, you're fine. Extremely competitive, and you know, I don't really want to be here." So a similar feeling I got as well when when I stopped boxing. You know, I should, probably should go next week. I keep saying I need to go next week, next week, next week. Hardest part is genuinely showing up. It's just it's kind of weird to say, but um, at the time, I disrespect him a lot for that. But then again, like you look, you gotta look towards the other thing. He made like two hundred grand a month of his business online to reach these numbers in fighting is extremely extremely difficult especially like recurring revenue in fighting is usually one big payday and then you just have to be financially responsible to, to manage that payday well until your next fight and that is even, even if you have the big payday in the first place from fighting which kind of does because he has the social status um, that he can leverage um in like a misfits boxing fight for example or a misfits mma if they do that uh that that's that's something i would say so far about him if you want to watch hamza watch him a year ago if you want to irritate his current content's good 
but um, watch his like you know tips and tricks. You know his early courses. <laughs> He's still around anywhere, uh, everywhere on the internet. Anyway, it's not really hard to get your hands on. Take everything that's free. Be resourceful. You know, I remember I was listening to Paul Han before. Um, talk about his dropshipping journey, and Paul Han is like some up and coming YouTuber. He has like 12, 14 videos and already like 100k subs because his, his, the value of his content is insane, to be honest. It's really like inspiring. It's really good. The editing is really good as well. Yeah, I, I, really, I really like Paul Han. Pause. <laughs> and something he says in his videos is like, yeah, be resourceful. You don't have to spend money on courses. You don't have to spend money on information. Information's free. You just have to work hard and find the information. Jordan, I, I link some people that I think are, are, are value Paul Han himself, Jordan Poe, Tyson Forty, you know, Im, Iman Gaji, the free content, Hamza, okay, the free content, Andrew Tate, the free content, of course, motivation, mindset, discipline. And like the, the reality of self-improvement is in general, is like the answer is always going to be work harder. You know what to do. Kind of dumb to say, but that one thing that you've been crashing on, just do it, bro. It's very rare you actually be in a um, in a situation where you genuinely don't know what to do. Then you can take the opportunity of like, yeah, maybe I'll take this course. Maybe I'll, you know, <clears throat> so that, then it's not it's not hard to get your hands on. Um, I don't, I'm not um, advocating for it. I don't think it's a good idea to use information because anyone anyone that does get the the course anyway, they don't really get anywhere. Like they get the course and it's done with. You know what I'm saying, guys. It's like, like, like you put the course at ten thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars. If it's information product or info product, it's gonna get leaked. And the reality is, even then, when it does get leaked, nine nine point nine 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 percent of individuals that do get their hands on the course probably won't do anything with it. They probably try to resell the course for some money. So I'm actually trying to execute on the course and actually trying to work on it because anything that's like great, it will take time and it will take effort. Okay, guys, that's really the situation. Anything that you want to grind on. That's when my hair, my hair looks so much thicker than before. It's kind of like thinning, man. Um, anything that will render you incredible amounts of success is probably extremely difficult. You know, don't individuals I see in the dropshipping space are always so egotistical. Like I, I said something before, like Paul Han since spending like two hundred fifty to three hundred dollars on a day of dropshipping, which is insane amount. It's a hundred grand a year. You just but 300 times 365, that's 100 grand a year <laughs> on ads. And someone said, that I was going to call it, oh yeah, but I spent 100 euro on product research, which is like 110, $120 in a day. I was like, okay, so how's your product research now? It was like, oh, oh, I don't, ha I don't have it yet. I haven't found a winning product. <laughs> what the fuck? Unless it's like, unless it's like a hyper competitive product, most products are winning products, bro. You just need a good market campaign, a good ad creative, a good website, a good market campaign, a huge budget for ad spend, and then before you know it, you have a fucking winning product, bro. And then what matters most is like profit margins and <clears throat> finance management, and if you can exit the business safely or not. But like, it's just that. I can see it. It is. It's. It's. It's something. It isn't the Donnie Kruger effect. It is just, like this guy trying to tell me, like, oh yeah, you. you I think you have the Donnie Kruger effect. I would disagree here. Everyone has the Donnie Kruger effect. And to extrapolate and expand on this, it's extremely difficult to become successful in business. <laughs> it doesn't matter what business you do. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't. You could be Elon, right? <clears throat> Sell flamethrowers. Hugely successful. Month one, $22 million. I'm pretty sure that's the statistic. $22 million. Okay, can we hit the same numbers again next month? With the same product. And then again and again and again. Can this become recurrent? Can, it, can this be consistent? $22 million. I think it's like, no, it's something more crazy. It's like $22 million in a week. And to him, it's not a lot of money. He probably spent that in a heartbeat on like fucking material for rockets. Rocket ships. But like, <laughs> it's just... You know what I'm saying, guys? Can we repeat those? Success is recurrent. It's consistent. Consistency is success, in my opinion. Anything less than that is just psychojack bullshit. That's why I would like to say to you guys, 
want to say to you guys, anyone in the dropshipping space or in the e-commerce space or in any, in any space in general, you just have to be consistent and show up and work hard. <laughs> it's just so it's so stupid. Like, don't complain when times get tough. Keep working. Find solutions. Leverage AI, chat GPT or whatever it is, AI prompts. So it's like Tyson 40 gives like fucking free content, free juice, free. Yeah, his, his entire course is free juice. It's, it's like, bro, he has like an entire free course on copywriting and it has like AI prompts and all these things. I think it's great. Do that shit, man. Like, <sighs> you can watch as much self improvement content as you want. You can watch my videos. I probably turn this into shorts and then, you know, hyper sensationalized, hyper, hyper, um, damn, my fucking back is so itchy, bro. Hyper fucking, like, you know, consume content. But like, if you if you don't produ actively producing content or you're actively putting yourself out there, selling something, either yourself, your services, a product, something. It is usually it's just a service or product. If you're if you're not doing something like that and you're just consuming content, what the fuck are you doing? Of course, it is good in the early stages of self improvement just to consume content to you know get like a general idea of what you're doing. But you reach a certain point. I think within like the third fourth month. You kind of know what's going on. You know to meditate. You know to go to the journal. You know to exercise pretty much every single day. And if it's a light workout, active recovery, go for a little walk or run, do some push ups, do some pull ups. Do not do insane intensity. Do like one, two less sets than usual. Do one, two less reps than usual. Less intensity as usual. Really take your time to enjoy the workout. And even if you don't feel like it, then just do it because workout's kind of fun. I mean, at that point, workout's probably fun for you. So, yeah, I don't think it's too difficult to get into it's just yeah, what nuance would you like to hear that's the question that i would like to ask you guys what nuance would you like like i can i can hate and hamza all you all i want it doesn't change the fact that hamza has been incredibly motivational incredibly um is it is, is it is it incredibly revolutionary i think revolutionary is the word in the seven improvement space like, i think the only reason why seven improvement can bloom so much is because of hamza it's because he hates on video games, and he says, I think you're a fucking loser who play video games. And, and it can, because he, like, he preaches pretty much exercise every single day, and habit tracker, and being consistent, working hard. Like, his overall message isn't bad, guys. The overall message isn't bad at all. But at the end of the day, like, he's a man. I remember Sean Trichton said this about Donald Trump as well, like, him meeting Donald Trump was a great experience. Donald Trump was a really nice guy, really humble, down-to-earth, like, really chill. You know, good family man, just all around nice guy so far, head, like level head, okay, sure. But at the end of the day, Donald Trump is just a man. Same with Andrew Tate, same with Hamza, same with Mangaji, same with any of these millionaires you might encounter if you're lucky in the West. Oh, I don't want to buy it. It's a bad angle. I don't want to buy it. I just slap myself in the face like this. <laughs> this is so dumb. Water. Yeah, any of these individuals are human beings. When they die, like their skeleton is the same as yours. So I definitely would say that consume content, sure. Consume content, you know, sure. Hamza is great. Get into a productive habits. Exercise. Eat well. Eat well. Have energy in the morning. This type of thing, right? But at the end of it, like, make sure you're always working hard towards your goals and pushing towards your goals. Um, because no one's going to do the work for you. No one. It doesn't matter who you are. You know, Elon could wake up one day. He doesn't feel like it. SpaceX is still there. Tesla's still there. Boring is still there. Twitter is still there now. X is still there. He has a myriad of things he must accomplish. Um, irregardless of his emotions. And I remember, I remember the things that Elon Musk talked before. is like, yeah, consume content, but make sure you understand that if you want to be an entrepreneur, um, it's an incredibly rocky path in comparison to other individuals because most individuals aren't entrepreneurs. And second of all, most individuals that have gone down the entrepreneurial path have gone down because of an intense lack of something. Okay, guys? It means there's a lack of money, there's a lack of status, it can be like an underdog mindset in entire life. It's lack of love. It usually is money. It's, it's very rare, like, you see, like, a pure entrepreneur, like, um, like a Mark Zuckerberg, for example. I know it's not a good example now with Facebook and where it's going. But um, Mark Zuckerberg, 
Facebook was revolutionary at the time. And it kind of did spawn the rest of social media, which is which is kind of like what we're doing today. With what we're using today. I don't really use any other social media but on YouTube and Facebook. Facebook may face my place. Oh shit, I need to wash the dishes soon. What is it? It's sort of 3 a.m. But I didn't. I didn't fuck around this time. Fix my sleep, guys, totally. Uh, yeah, that's that's what I would probably say. All these individuals are just men. And they, they're all they're all human beings. And they have trailed the path. It's a, it's a rocky road, sure, but there has been other individuals trailed on this path before you. And bad yet, they've wrote, written like fucking books and courses and shit that you can consume readily. Like you could find a free PDF version of the art of was it the art of the deal of by Donald Trump. And yeah, I heard it was a great book. You could find books from Robert Greene and his entire life, Forty Lords of Power, a lifetime's worth of work almost, or the fiftieth law or something like that. You can you can find this information, guys. It's all free. Be resourceful. Be, be resourceful. Um what <laughs> I'm not saying what don't work hard. It sounds so simple to say, and it's very easy to say, admittedly. But it is extremely difficult, of course. It's day by day, consistent. You know, I finish my job and I have to like still have to work. It's 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 difficult, guys. But like it it, w it wouldn't have a value if it wasn't difficult. You know, I think about the time when I was in high school and I worked extremely hard on my exams. I think to myself like, if I just had a sliver of that hard work ethic, I don't know, I can't complain. I've gone lazy. Uh, I understand that, but if I had a sliver of that hard work ethic and I just pushed it straight towards entrepreneurship and my and wealth creation. And how fucking rich would I be, bro? I'd be fucking balling out here, man. The fuck? That's why I wanted to say to you guys so far. That's, that's my, my, entire, my entire general message. Work hard. The message of something is just work hard in general. Like, huge. Hey, how about keeping men weak? Porn. Like, you become lazy. You don't work hard. Social media. You become lazy. You don't work hard. Video games. You become lazy. You don't work hard. You know, it's actually worse because you're working hard on in the virtual world instead of real life. I mean, I guess it's good because you're developing the ability to work hard, the ability to reiterate, and you know. But you, you could have done that without video games. Come on, fucking look at him, Gaji. <laughs> he did it without video games. I think he did play games. I'm not sure exactly. A lot of individuals do play games. Um, Jordan Bow, he's played Fortnite. <laughs> kind of surreal to see him play Fortnite, even though I wasn't. I was in. The, I was watching a lot of Fortnite content back in the day, but like, um, was it Yi Clan? Something Clan like that. El Lemo clan, something like what you know, fit fits. I think it was fits, and it was Swagger Soul, something like that. Yeah, Swagger Souls, holy shit! Yeah, that was fucking that was the that was the banger back in the day. And um, yeah, they had like something something clan, some Fortnite clan. But it's like six years ago. <laughs> some shit. That's the numbers coming from my head. Um, I, remember, I do remember when I was like twelve years old, thirteen years old. Like. <laughs> Well, and I just see like individuals that are highly successful, Jordan Ball, for example, who are making like fucking 30 grand, 80 grand a day from his marketing campaign, leveraging social media for money. Wow, from playing Fortnite to this, it's great. It's great. Anyone can fucking do it, man. Anyone can fucking do it. Be resourceful. You think he fucking bought like Andrew Tate's Hustle University? And I, and I think Hustle University is still valuable in a sense for getting started, but like. Do you think Jordan Ball did that? Do you think Iman Gaji bought a Hustle University? No, we fucking we called up clients, man. He did the fucking boring, basic work that he needed to do. What was it again? Um, <laughs> so interesting. Uh, I heard some comments say before, like, success is... No, no, no let, me find it. let me find it for you, actually. I ended this video as well. Fuck's sake, fuck you, Jimmy. Stupid bitch. Give me extra, give me my fucking self future work. I'm sorry, future Jimmy. You just have to do the work for me, my son. I just, I just my son myself. I've watched hours of this guy's teaching, Alex Homozi. His main theme is business is just part of me. Business is just a long, boring list of obvious things. Success is doing them. The hard part is doing them. The hard part is showing up every single day, stressing your mind out. Thinking yourself, oh, it's fucking hundred problems to solve. I, I remember, it's a very common problem 
I think I'll, I'll talk about it in another video. I could talk about this video as well, but I, I think I might talk about it in another video. But like, some individuals get lost in the source. Like, you know, there's just, just so much work to do. There's just so much work to do, Jimmy. You don't know my problem because you don't know me. There's so much work to do. <laughs> Trust me, bro. I fucking know. Every single day, bro. It doesn't matter, like, like, even if I was a millionaire, it'd be like, holy shit, it's a lot of fucking, fucking lot of work to do. It's just shit, just endless but work. When you, when, when you consider, when you like, not when you consider, when you begin to get into workflow, then it's great because you're like, you're completing tasks, completing tasks. But then you really, you, you come to a, a, upon a, a sudden realization and then it really isn't sudden. It's like, it's just creeping. You knew it was there, but you kind of just chose to ignore it for the moment, for the time being, for the moment, because you didn't want to realize like, holy shit, like, this is fucking a lot of shit to do. But there is a genuine, when you commit yourself to work, there's a genuine, infinite list of work. Like, infinite. Sorry, my tenants is coming in. It's really fucking annoying. Because this is an infinite amount of work to do. I'm sure it's finite. I'm sure it ends somehow, somewhere. But I don't, I don't see the end. Like, you start one YouTube channel, okay, I gotta create content for the next five to ten years, consistently, pretty much every single day. If I'm doing content like talking, I'll make a video like, at least every single fucking day. Then I gotta turn it into shorts. Then I gotta refer to the videos that weren't really good, and then I gotta turn that into like more professional videos, re-record them, and then sort of re like, reiterate like, the topic. I already have like 400 videos in the channel with like less than 500 subs. I had a goal of 500 subs, I didn't reach it because I wasn't fucking consistent enough. I didn't upload the shorts I needed to. If I uploaded the shorts, I had no doubt in my mind that I would have reached it. Like, there's shorts, main content, main channel, side channel, banner, banner frame, thumbnails. At some point, you get so much fucking videos, like, bro, it would be. Like, it's just a waste of time for you to genuinely sit down and fucking make thumbnails. You got the money, you hire someone else to make thumbnails for you. That's one YouTube channel, bro. That's two YouTube channels, actually. Side channel. Main channel. This work never ends, bro. It really, it really doesn't. It really never, ever ends. It's asinine to think that one day you're just going to wake up and then be like, Oh, yeah. Mission complete. Dun, 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 dun. You are the champion. But what? Fortnite Battle Royale. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know what they say at the end. Oh my god. I'm fucking new. I haven't played Fortnite. I played Fortnite once. Okay, guys. My friend fucking he uses the fucking. <laughs> I remember I played it. It was actually kind of fun. And he like he was trolling me, and he had a quad bike, and it was like later on. So I played really early in the game, and then I stopped playing. And then I start playing again, and then my father had the quad bike, and he fucking, he just, he, instead of like, he had it, there was a hill, right, then you go down the hill, and then there's a road, and then you go up the hill again, and the quad bike, and then you just go start flying, but he flew backwards, and he flew into the zone, and he just let me die in zone, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, good old, good old days. Fortnite Battle Royale. Victory Royale. Oh, yeah, Victory Royale, yeah. Fuck, bro, I, I play Apex Legends, okay, guys? You're the champion, that's why I see them most of the time. But... <laughs> I'm kind of steering off the topic here. I'm steering off the topic a lot. Works Infinite, I've already summarised that topic. Hamza, already summarised. They're just a man. Course business, great business model. Great business model, Info product business. Great. The last thing I want to talk about is probably ego. Back to the point where I was making before about the drop shipping guys. One of them was like he said, "Oh yeah, I spent 110 on a euro on product research in a day." And he was like, I, "And I said, Paul Hans spent 300 dollars a day. And he's capped out. Like he's not allowed to spend more." Um, my shop, Shopify and other I don't know what um, video marketing campaign. So new to this. I'm so new to this shit. I think it was Shopify. 
only allowed to spend three hundred dollars a day on ad spend, and I would just think to myself like. The ego of the majority of individuals within any space and making money is tremendous. It's not only entitlement, it's pure delusional ego. And he told, and this guy, this, this weird, I think it was a weird German guy, he was like, or Austrian, I don't remember, I don't know where he was from. And then he was like, he didn't say that, I don't know if you guys heard my fucking belly rumbling. I already eat food, I don't know why I'm really rumbling like that, it's embarrassing. But he was like, yeah, I, I see myself spending more than that in the future. Wonderful, okay. I'm like, this guy's full of shit, <laughs> honestly, this guy's full of shit. I was like, wonderful, okay. I, I, I applaud your, your success or your ideal uh, thing. I applaud your dreams and good luck and I, I wish success upon you. But how's product reach so far? Oh yeah, I've yet to find a product. You just told me you spend a hundred euro a day in product research and product exper experimentation. What the fuck is product experimentation? You make a story, you make a web, you make an ad, you have a fucking marketing campaign, and you do that. Just, uh... The ego is tremendous. I see individuals that. Here's your quick, I should have been a dedicated video as well. Here's your quick one month update of the hustle of the real world. I made money back 250, I made 250, which is like more than, I got 250 pounds, like 280 things. So I made more than what I put in, but I didn't really bother renewing my subscription. Um, I want to consume free content. I have shit to do and sell in the first place. I think it's not a good idea uh, for for me at this moment in this very, in this very, in this time being, in the, in this moment, I don't think it's a good idea for me to renew it. Um, maybe later on in the future, no doubt. But I would reach a weird toxic cycle with it, where I would buy and make money back, like usually relatively quickly. But then I become complacent. I'm like, oh yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't count. This and that. Like, look up money more binarily. Binarily? Look up more money. Look at money in more like in a binary sense. Money in versus money out. If you're up on money in, then you're probably doing better than before. And which is better than before. So, fuck it. Who cares? Doesn't matter where the money comes from. Unless it's drugs. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Don't sell drugs. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> Don't have to fucking advocate kids on that shit. Like it's obviously bad, but motherfuckers still find a way to do it. I don't know why. Why would you do that? It's just it's gonna destroy you. It's really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> um. And then I was like, and then I had this on my credentials, tell him what I do, tell him what I did, showed him a bit, a little bit, and then he was just he's just like, oh. Instead of like this defensive attitude that he he um, had with me before, he was like, uh, "Why can't a brother dream? Well, what's the what's the price of dreaming?" I'm like, the, "I think your your dreaming is great, but you're just fucking stupid, bro. Like, you want to spend more than three hundred dollars a day on ad spend? Like, fucking ground yourself in reality for a second. Like, everyone here is like, oh yeah, but male models only get paid a million dollars a year, one point three million dollars a year. I'm like, you know how much fucking money that is." <laughs> What for looking good? Obviously, there's like it's, it's, it's a it's a difficult in the other way type of job. But you want to just standing still, you walking down the thing, like come on, fuck, fuck, come on, guys. Oh, but they don't get paid as much as women. Yeah, okay, but those are women though. Yeah, of course the fucking Chico Lewaski is not gonna get paid as much as Adrian Lima. This is common sense. Like, of course, what's the whole who's the top? Top paid was it um was it Adrian Lima? Or some other fucking random girl I don't I don't remember. Um, she's very beautiful of course. But I just paid like forty four mil at the time. It was like David Gandhi who was the highest paid was like one point four five million. And I'm like oh my god oh you five million you know how much fucking money one point five million is man, holy moly. Like uh, you can buy fucking two real estate properties with that shit. Just 
obviously you have no money when you finish, but like you're living a very comfortable life on 1.5 million. I'm sure you guys can imagine if you guys had that money, I don't see any of you guys complaining. You guys will say 1 million, 1.5 million is too little, but then you will not make 10k a month. So what's going on? The ego of the majority of individuals is just it's insane. It really is insane, guys. I I don't know where it comes from. I think it is the Dunning Kruger effect, but it also is just a lot of not there's a misunderstanding, but like naivety. I think is the best way to put it. It's very very it's it's very very naive to sit there and think, oh yeah, someone who's like top fucking five percent, top ten percent in the industry, Paul Hahn, for example making one mil per month or some shit, some crazy that. In that no, in that month, did he make one mil? Yeah, I think he made like 12 mil a year, technically, because he makes a million a month, and he spends like 100 grand a year on ad spend. That's pretty good ROI. And <laughs> it just this fucking random nobody who hasn't had a fucking winning product yet, no website, no ad creative, no no nothing, no marketing campaign, no, bu- no ad spend budget. And he just comes along and says, oh, yeah, I see myself spending so much more in the future. Like, motherfucker, turn down your ego, bitch. Just, ugh, get back to fucking work. Just, just, you know what I'm saying, guys? It just fucking makes my head itch. Fucking, I, I, I'm not saying it's hate, per se. Because I'll, I'll say it to that to him person, like, yeah, I hope your dreams, like, well. And I do, genuinely do mean it. Like, I hope motherfuckers achieve their dreams and retire their mother and live that financially free lifestyle that they they, they probably most likely deserve but you're gonna fucking reach it like that you're gonna go up to like a, a fucking multi-millionaire or a millionaire in in your space and to be like yeah i see myself doing something so much better than you in the future and then they ask you that's wonderful and then they're, and then they're like oh, yeah that's wonderful they don't they don't fucking laugh at you millionaires don't laugh at other people on the come up right but like they ask you a simple question that kind of fucking crumbles your entire shit and that simple question is like okay so what have you done so far Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's like the ego that I see um, in the the internet. I still stand by this. I don't know if I change my my um, perspective on this anytime soon. I don't think I will at all. And people are like, Andrew Taylor, Andrew Taylor was like talking about after twenty million dollars a year, you have nothing else to buy unless it's like you want to buy yachts and boats and stuff. Which um yeah, fair enough. I don't, I'm not really a big fan. I mean to rent out, sure, for a week for the family, sure, that'd be nice. Friends and family, maybe just friends to have fun. Um. But then everyone in the comment section was like, what about you donate? You donate. How about you give away your money? I was like, the fucking entitlement is ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. It's disgusting. Like, I'm not fucking asking you about your money, mate. Unless I have a product or a service to exchange it for of equal or more value. Money is stored value. Money is the store time of other individuals. Just asking to give it away? <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. It just, people, remember, uh, I remember I heard something interesting, saying something interesting, like people are either arrogant, lazy, or stupid. And it's very rare people are stupid. They're usually arrogant or lazy. And when you look in any space, copywriting, e-commerce, dropshipping, you know, could be boxing as well, could be any space, there will be a level of arrogance, laziness, and stupidity that you will see. If you just, just take a moment to look, you will see it. Like in the book, 40 laws of, 48 Laws of Power, he, Robert Greene says, what was it again? Uh, something like, keep your intentions unknown. And like blend in with the crowd, be like be like a like a wolf in sheep's clothing, and just keep your intentions unknown or some shit. And like act uh, act as though you're part of the crowd, but also but also behave as you do. Something like that, and 
Honestly, to myself, that's the only way you can really succeed. That's the only way you can really, really succeed. If you go around, like, just verbalizing your, your ambitions to individuals that don't really give a fuck. Like, of course, of course they're going to be like, mm, yeah, probably not going to be successful. Of course they're going to be like, oh yeah, you're already a millionaire now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I was your friend 10 years ago, can you get some money? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Of course they're gonna look at you like this. Of course they are. Like it would be asinine not to look at you like this. Um That's that's where I would look look towards it. That's where I look towards it. It's just Where am I trying to go with this? Ego. Lower your fucking ego, man. Lower that. Lower your fucking ego. Um, never shoot beyond what you think you're capable of. Shoot beyond what you think you're capable of, but never shoot beyond what you're capable of in terms of what you think, and then not act towards that shooting. For example, you think like you make a million dollars a year, and you keep thinking, thinking, oh yeah, it's possible, and you convince yourself, and you convince yourself, oh yeah, it's possible, mm, yeah. This guy did it, and. You know, I I knew this guy's uncle, and you know, I saw him when he was I don't know how many money, and now he's a millionaire. But I don't really know him, so like whatever. But it's, it's possible, and then you keep convincing yourself, and you keep convincing, you keep procrastinating. I don't procrastinate, guys. <sighs> because procrastination is incredibly deadly. I'm sure you guys know it's extremely deadly. It's really bad. Like um, procrastination in any form is just. It's infinitely destructive. He really is infinitely destructive. Um, procrastination before doing a task is better than procrastination in general, like playing fucking video games when you know you have shit to do. I fucking bait myself out, it's the truth. But, um. Procrastination should be avoided at all times. I don't know, my brain just fucking stopped there. I need to stop there. I need to like fucking recalculate, man. I need to like re <laughs> refactor, reset the brain. Honestly, I think I'm just talking too much. 42 minutes so far, and I'm fried. So I think I'm gonna you know end the video soon here. If you do have a big ego, understand one thing: you're going to need a big work ethic in order to supplement that ego. I knew a guy before who was like an Andrew Tate meat rider. And this is the problem with Hustle University in the real world. Everyone is an Andrew Tate meat rider. Everyone loves Andrew Tate's meat. I like Andrew Tate as well. As much as the next guy. Uh, fucking saved my life. Changed me from within. Sure. But like, stop fucking meat riding. We're trying to make money out here, dog. Like, honestly, it's just it's just hard. Like, I remember though Tyson Forty was talking about a real world end. I think I'm going to get like a more um, nuanced video about it in a minute. Because my brain's fucking fried. I need to take a break from it. The shit and meditate for a bit to, to recap to, to regather my strength but everyone is a fucking Andrew Tate me writer <laughs> horrible it's horrible I, I, like, like I said before I like Andrew Tate as much as the next guy but like when it's time to work it's time to work guys it really is time to work and um no no amount of good mornings in the chat will make you successful yeah yeah you're just consistent in one thing but like you don't be fucking ultra successful there's one um there's one guy before who who was in good shape and he was a kickboxer in a few fights I believe I don't know if he was trying to shit by this I don't really care I don't care um <laughs> he was like oh yeah we don't we shouldn't do copywriting we shouldn't do e-commerce we shouldn't do this because we only make a few thousand but like he said he made sixteen k in six months mediocre and for his age you know, he's same age as me he's eighteen that's good and then. He spent 14k on like some shitty Lexus car. The ego was intolerable. And he told me if he had a million, he spent 900k on a car. What the fuck? Why? 
Why? And I, I don't see this individual as, as potentially successful in the future. Like, he could very well live like a shit life his entire life. But I hope he becomes successful. I hope he really does. But I don't really see it happening. Not for a second. Because that mindset is just so. It's poison. You're not Andrew Tate, man. No one's Andrew Tate. Only there's only one Andrew Tate. And that's Andrew Tate. There's only one Tristan Tate. And that's Tristan Tate. Don't try to be something that you're not. It's fucking retarded. It's stupid as fuck. That's the problem. I see these fucking 12 year olds with like no accolades. They talk incredibly well. They talk like, yo, when I'm successful in the future, I'll be laughing. And this is the other guy as well in the dropshipping Discord. He said, oh yeah, you're laughing at me right now, but like, I literally laughed in his face, like, what the fuck? But like, you see the future. And then I just asked him a bunch of questions that won't even fucking talk, like, how's product research going? How much money have you spent so far? Have you made a visible ROI? What's your OSI looking like? What's your ad creative looking like? Do you have a good marketing campaign? You just fucking starring all over the place. It's just made me fucking stressed, like talking about it because it's just why? Why? Why do you have such an ego? It's undeserved. Undeserved ego is delusion, guys. A deserved ego is confidence. Undeserved ego is delusion. You have you have a generation of young men who are procrastinating, wasting their time with undeserved ego. Don't be one of these fucking young men. Humble yourself. Stay silent. Be the runt of the room. Accept that as the reality. It's fucking annoying. There's a ladder you must climb up, guys. It could be a social ladder. It could be a work ladder. But there is a ladder you must climb up. Fucking, you saw the bomb, bro. So start climbing. The fuck? <sighs> It's, just, it's really annoying. It's really annoying. The honest of ego is just... It's really been plaguing me. I'm seeing all these guys with nothing. The honest of ego is just... I do wish them success, though. I do wish them... I think they all deserve it. I think anyone who wants to be successful does not have success. For the most part. The problem is, are these individuals... Are going to become successful or not? God, only God knows, right? Anyway, that's the end of the video here. I don't think I have anything else to say. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you on the next video. Peace. Let me know if you're